Indeed. Good evening, everybody. Uh, I did it. I sang uh, several times. Uh, as you said, it's not uh, quite often on stage, this masterpiece, but uh, I, I had the, the chance to sing in, uh, in Vienna, in, uh, in Köln, in, uh, in Genoa, in Italy. I don't remember wherever. But yeah, no, it's not my debut uh, in the role. Uh, if I can just open a short a speech about this story, which I love to, to underline that uh, we can split music and, and text and libretto, and it, it's a story that can, can stay, stand up without the music, because it's, a, it's like a comedy, it's a, it's a play theater that you can also play with no music. And this is magnificent for me, uh, this aspect. I think the most important uh, aspect of uh, the character of, the, of Don Pasquale is that he is a human being. And there's a, a gap generation that uh, you would see on stage between him, that he is not quite old, but and, and the, three, the three guys that uh, belong to the young generation. I think every one of us get in the family situation where the son has to pray to, to the father, don't drive the car anymore because if you're, <laughs> you're not reacting so faster. So please don't do it because it's dangerous and he doesn't want to because he feels young. So, I mean, he's a, I don't want to repeat what my uh, colleagues said, but uh, it's truly a uh, human being opera. Is there anything special that you like to do in your character, Maurizio, to, to make us uh, sympathize with Pasquale? I, yeah, thank you for this question. <laughs> I like it because uh, I, I try to not force to be buffo at all, but uh, uh, to underline the human being character of this uh, role. And uh, because as, as Giuseppe said, it's not, uh, it's not a buffo opera, it's a human being opera. And uh, I like always to get, uh, to take example from, from the real life uh, to put on the character of this uh, Pasquale. And uh, my deal is don't, don't play the role uh, so ridiculous to force situations just to get the love from the audience, but to make you reflecting uh, about the, the drama that is on stage playing in that moment. Having uh, said that, I have to say, and if you, if you, know, you saw the dress rehearsal, you know there are some bits that are very funny. <laughs> We'd have to say. There are, yes, yes, because, because the, 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 the production is read in, in a certain way that uh, uh, Laurent Pelli said, uh, think to uh, like, like a, a comedia dell'arte. Comedy of art, which is okay, it's fine. You can read very well the story, and uh, it's very funny to see it, very poetic as well, especially the, 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 the last scene of the second half of the show. Uh, mm, there, there are many moments which you can uh, laugh uh, with, with, uh, with Pasquale. Uh, my deal is to put together the idea, the original idea of the stage director and, and give a contribute from myself to give a human being character to the role and not just a book for all. But it's fine, okay. It's very sweet as well as funny, I think, when you're prepping and getting ready to meet uh, <laughs> Norina Pettis <laughs> and Sophronia. <laughs> it's, uh, it's really fun. Do you give away too much about it? Uh, we obviously want to talk about the production's concept with Daniel, but first I'd like to talk about